All right, so I got to say that, well, she's not really looking at the camera, but if I go this way, she looks that way, and then vice versa. <laughs> I don't know, but anyways, all the support, all the likes, greatly appreciate on this Hogwarts Legacy series. It's been on the, I think it's the biggest game I've played in quite some time. So, I'm going to go ahead and keep it up. If you want more parts each day, I've been doing about four videos every time I record, all, all over half hour each. So, pretty long session. Here's the beginning. All right. Current quest, by the way. Here's what we're doing. Let's go ahead and show you. Level 8 required. Meet Sebastian. Defense against the Dark Arts Classroom. All right. Looks like we're good. I got a lot of icons I want to check out. Wait, do we have a talent point? Oh, we do. Let's go ahead and use this. All right. I'm torn. So we get the rumor requirement, which now we know. I think this is like zero. Was it zero out of four originally? I think it opened up. I don't know. Maybe it's always out of eight. So this right here is going to help with pretty much your potions and abilities. All right. What is the core? It was another one I really wanted to check out. Um, I thought about getting this. Just to go ahead and have, you know. 12 spells at a time, but that could be a little much. Hmm. I, I feel like this is broken. If it reduces spell cooldowns... Every time you hit, I feel like that's... I mean, I've been kind of guessing like there's no way that works that way because that would be the best ability in the game, I feel like. So I'll go ahead and get it just to try it out, I guess. Here we go. All right, here we go. Man, I love every detail about this game so far. From the abilities, the... Ooh. It always reminds me of Final Fantasy VII, I think it is, when they're in that one area and they start seeing, like, the... Like, the solar system or universe or planets. I don't know what it was. Very odd spot in the game. But yeah, this has been an excellent series. I really can't thank you enough for joining me. I didn't know how many people would actually like the Hogwarts stuff. I did a top 10 video in January of, like, upcoming games of 2023. And I had this in my top five, I think. Or maybe it was in my top six. I don't remember. But it was one of those. And it was because I was just like, this game's got to be decent. I just did not expect it to be as good as it actually is. And apparently it's like taking the internet by storm. Alright, here we go. Kind of reminds me when Elden Ring dropped. How everybody was playing it. Like, everybody. Over here. What's going on with his outfit? Is he glitched? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. All right, into the shadow of the Undercroft. Here we go. Enter the secret room. Revelio. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Here it is. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Revelio. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. 
All right, I need to clear out some gear. I forgot before recording the video to sell some of my actual gear because I don't think I really need to sell it. So what I'll do is anything that I'm not using that's actually worse, like all of these, I'll just destroy them. Yeah, because it really doesn't matter. If I need currency, I'll get it later on. Uh, let's go and get rid of that. And this one. I'm going to keep the other one because it's a legendary piece as well. But... Headwear. I think it's the only one we got there. Only one there. Okay. Here's where I need to, need to let go of some stuff. <laughs> the good thing is, I'm pretty sure once I've collected a piece of gear, it's transmogable forever. Did I just say that word right? Is that even a word? It may not be. This should be better, I feel like. But this is level 10, so let's get rid of these other ones. This will free up a lot of space. Yeah, we should be good. Alright, now I can go collect some stuff. That's actually better? Okay. I'll change my gear every so often. I'm not going to go to the menu every time I get a piece. But if it says the, uh, the green arrow, which it is... Oh, boy. Let me get this up. Every room is, like, dark. I just realized that. I know everything's like a secret passage and everything, but... Um, all right. Well, since I have two pieces that are upgradable, <laughs> I'll go ahead and put those on now. And it's these. Interesting. So let's just go ahead and put this on, and then we'll change the appearance as we go. I think the one I liked was this one, right? Yeah, we'll do that. And then for this one, we're going to use this. That just looks so sick. Legendary cape. Reminds me of the Huntress from Destiny 2 a little bit. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. I'm gonna say that's ridiculous. That does sound dangerous. Let's go with that one. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. All right, here goes. Almost got stuck there on the top of the Z. Oh no. We got it. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Alright, I'm actually going to put this because the disarm thing is cool, but I would rather have this. Because this just seems like it's going to be a lot better. Uh, Alright. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find a nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Alright, we got a 
We're gonna eventually have a whole column for fire. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. I'm ready for more spells like this. Yeah, let's do that one. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Uh, be glad to. I don't want to impose. I'll do the first one. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth, I'm not ready to tell you everything. I mean... I don't know. This is the first one. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I gotta check out, hold on, we'll scan everything really quick. Let me just take a look. Make sure there's nothing else hiding around here. The candelabra's going on, you know? I love the, that, I guess that word. It's always one of my favorite Magic the Gathering cards. It was like from Antiquities, I think it was. Something candelabra. All right, here we go. They have to make sure you actually want to leave. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I'm gonna just say I stumbled. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah. Well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I'm not really a fan of this kid already. All right, promise not to say anything. No need for threats. There we go. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. 
Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. If only a new student would help me with this sad predicament. Can I use my new flame ability on him? Confringo. There we go. End of the game right there. <laughs> That was a quick quest. Essentially, it was just meeting Sebastian, going to the Undercroft, and then getting this, uh... This ability. Is there anything else that popped up? Hold on. Alright, the map chamber. Okay, level 10 required. We got so many. Oh, man. I might want to go do this quest. I'll do the next one, and then I'm going to go check this out. Flight test. Purchase a broom. Oh, my goodness. I think we're good. We're level 11, so we're not quite hitting. I expect soon to hit a wall. In a lot of games, they have like a level cap per mission. So I'm not sure when it's going to happen, but... All right, let's go report to the professor. Going all the way up to the top. I don't really feel like fast traveling. I could fast travel a lot of spots, but is it really necessary? I'd rather just go sprint. Plus, you kind of get the way the school around, you know? Yeah, it's right here. I like this entire game so far. I haven't found one thing I don't like about it yet. I think running around the school is actually fine. All right, I here we go. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, well, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt You and... met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say that... Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkin so that he'd tell me how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. All right, the map chamber. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham are we? Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. <sighs> thought it was a normal chest. I couldn't actually open it because of the... Uh... It just kind of looked at me. <laughs> you two seem ready for adventure. All right, here it goes. To think it was beneath us all this time. map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent.
If only you were here to see this. All right, speak to the portrait again. Here we go. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock, should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? I'm gonna say it. Yep. You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't know. I'm, I Maybe it's a different type of tower. I'm thinking, let me see this. Don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Uh, do you think about the tower? I guess, yeah, I'll ask. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. All right, see you there, buddy. <laughs> I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. All right, I'm pumped for this. All right, main quest three to eight, the map chamber complete. The last two quests have been really short. We're still, I mean, if I'm editing correctly, we're only on part 10 still, but that was, uh, that's pretty quick. All right, let's go ahead and check the map out. Before we go there, I might go get a broom. Hold on, can I? How far away is it? Hold on, it looks like you gotta travel. Okay, here's what I think we have to do. I think we should go get a broom first. Because this looks like... Because I can't zoom out. And I can't go up any. So, as far as the world map goes... 
it looks like it just keeps going. All right. Yeah, we'll get the uh, other quest out first. Because if I can get a broom where I can just select it at any point, that would be amazing. All right, quests. Let's see. Level 11 requirement. Okay, we're kind of getting to that point where I'm a little bit nervous about... Yeah, let's do this one. And then we'll go back through this way as well. Oh, right there. Okay. Well, the closest... Yeah, we'll have to go here. Here we go. Man, it's fast traveling is so quick in this game. Not as fast as, uh, like, Ghost of Tsushima, but it's it seems all still pretty quick. Alright, I'm changing it to daytime because this is bothering me a little bit. It's been nighttime for, like, every video, it feels like. So all I want to do... Okay. You know what, game? Is there two night times? That's the second time that's happened. Watch this. It'll be, like, nighttime and dark, and then I can't really see that well. And then I'll rest, and it'll still be nighttime, then I'll rest again, then it's daytime. All right, now we're good. I'm assuming if we get this, then traveling should be a lot easier. No more going on foot, you know. If you work all day with your hands, we did like two quests back to back there. I haven't been over here since like part three, because there's really not really been any like reason to, I guess. That's a cool outfit. I like the feather. Uh, wait a minute, what? Okay, that's unlocked now. I guess. Was there a fashionable point always there? Not much of the dark art. There we go. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Um, I would like to, instead of asking questions, um, Sounds I'm gonna see if I can just buy one. Rooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. If I can buy one, I wonder if I can just today? use it whenever. Okay, I have 1,400. These are 600, 600. All right, can I preview that it? That item is of the highest quality. That one's got, like, some fire going on. Ember Dash. I like that. Uh, This one has some pouches on it, that which look cool. That item is of the highest quality. All right. I think it's an easy choice here. I think the first one... Although, I don't like the thing on the front. I don't know. Uh, that item is of the highest quality. I'm torn. It's either this one or the first one. The house broom or the one with the... Uh, I, I like this one. I don't know. Let's get it. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I could probably sell some stuff. <laughs> Let me... Now I can actually get rid of my extras. With you. It's cool that it has all the gear that you don't have equipped. All right. We're good. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh, sure. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun, too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once right. you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. 
Take some money before I leave. Prohibit flying. Look for the no flying icon. Okay. So what I should probably do... I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. So we got the no flying icon. still. Is it still there? Hold on. Okay, tap that. Wait, it says tap L and then... Wait, that's all you do? Oh, I see it right there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look at the right-hand corner. Oh my goodness. We got the broom. We got some other stuff we haven't seen. All right, one thing I wanted to do... Um, all right. Now we can do the main quest, and I'll do this other thing later on. I just wanted to go buy a broom. We got a trial ahead of us. The only thing is I need to change my controls, because last time I was on this, it was a little weird. Um, all right. Yes. Yeah, okay, here it is. This, so, I play on inverted. I know I'm a psychopath, but... The flight inversion was, like, double inverted, so I was... I didn't like pressing up to go up. Because I think in flying... Oh, yeah. The, ooh, that's much better. All right. Here we go. Uh, go to the tower. So we could just go wherever. Oh, my goodness. This is so sick. Man, this makes... Okay. This makes the game so good. Can't enter while I'm mounted. Oh, that's right. Restriction. Can I go all the way around this area? Like, can I go back here, too? I don't know what, like, the limits of this game are. Obviously, we're going to this quest, but... This is my top speed, as far as I know. Yeah, this is nice. Okay. Woo, this game is getting better by the minute. It's pretty quiet. I would turn on the music, but... Warner Brother games have not been kind to my channel over the years. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> but I turned that on. It's... It's GG's. Let me... So... R2 makes you go fast, but it's like you go fast only for a brief moment. Okay, I guess you just... As long as you don't turn too much. This is where we're going, though. The fact that there's never a chance where I'm going to be on foot anymore. I'm literally just going to be doing this the rest of the game. Until we get other stuff we can fly on. Alright? I'm excited for this. I just can't get over how ginormous this game is. Hey, what is that floating over there? Hold on, we're going there. I just want to see what's back over here first. This might be a no-fly zone. All right, so we're going in here, but we got enemies below us. I just saw these, and I was like, what? Are these things you can collect? I don't know. Let's take a look. Looks like... Let's see what happens if you hit it. Doesn't really do anything, okay. Unless it's like the hidden packages in Grand Theft Auto games, I don't know. Which is just like, they're there to like, collect. I didn't realize this game was gonna be this big. Now that we got the flying and all that, I am pumped. Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our Okay, now he said use the disillusion. I'm only thinking about I mean if I put that on, I don't know. Let's uh let's put it on the There we go. Cause I don't really think I'll use it. I because I kinda wanna fight stuff to level up, you know? Quickly now. He he's recommending doing that, All right? So we'll just do Oh, oh my god. I suppose we Whoops. could charge right <laughs> into their mist. Oh. Actually I'm fine. Yeah, I, I need the XP. Look at that, 10 XP. I'll, okay, I'm just gonna fight everything. Maybe we can do like some stealth attacks here. The R2 button is also the. Uh, you 
you haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother button. used to make. Oh, like heads of lettuce, those mushrooms were. Oh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. I wanted to start throwing these rocks and boulders at these guys. Can I scan or will that like alert the enemies? Alright, we're gonna just test it out. Here, here it goes. Ramrock said so. Let's see, can I do a stealth attack? Only I could get my hands on face. Oh. 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 That petrification is so nice. Something here. Ramrock said so. Same amount of XP too. Now we're getting to the defeat thing. Okay, here's what I'll do. I think between recording sessions, I'm gonna play this game and get like Cause this game just opened up a lot more. This game, like, I want to level up my character, be ready for the next quest, you know, all that stuff. I should probably. Uh... You ought to cut back on pudding. Mistook you for a trick. Who's there? One less human to worry about. Here, take this, buddy. Uh -oh. Yeah, same amount of XP and everything. All right, let's investigate. It says the goblin presence. I mean, we got stuff we can collect, though. I'll take some of that. So we got a chest right here. Don't mind if I do. All right, that's an upgrade. We'll put that on later on. Uh, let's check in here really quick. This looks like it's almost outside the area, though. There's a note here. Orders directly from Ranrock. <laughs> 